education would hopefully make this a better world. I'm perfectly willing to fail 10 times if I get one right. Look at everything you do and say, is there some way that I could do it better? And then do it. Maurice Canbar is irrepressible. Maurice Canbar is an innovator. He thinks about the world in a different way than most of us do. Where we see problems, he sees opportunities. Dr. Maurice Canbar is a force of nature. He is quite the entrepreneur, and he started out as just one of us. He's the kind of person that we really want our students to grow up to be. I want to grow up to be like Maurice. I don't want to be Maurice Kambar. I don't have the energy for to be Maurice Kambar. I feel privileged to know him and to be motivated by him. But that's a that's a bridge too far for me. <laughs> I'm not ashamed to say it. <laughs> At Philadelphia University, the name Cambar is synonymous with transformation. He is responsible for transforming this campus. The Cambar Campus Center has been instrumental in optimizing Nexus Learning. When it first opened, I remember saying, now we are truly a university. It changed the dynamic, it changed the environment of this university. The Cambar College is not just transforming the physical space, but it is transforming the way that students learn and the way faculty interact. The Cambar College of Design, Engineering, and Commerce really is Dr. Cambar's college. It is not just named after him, it is named for his thinking and for his action. The vision is to become the model professional university of the 21st century. And the DEC curriculum was the first manifestation and validation of that. It's easy to look at the buildings and it's easy to look at the projects, but his greatest contribution has been his example. Maurice Kambar invests in the future because he believes in people. He takes a look at our students and he sees younger versions of himself, people that want to go out and make the world a better place. The Canbar Scholarship has enabled me to continue my education here and to create work that I'm really proud of. At the end of my freshman year, um, I got an email saying that I received a scholarship. My mom came dancing to my room. She was running around screaming. Uh, it was a pretty big deal just because it makes such a difference. It was really inspiring to know that someone so influential believed in me. The reason that I'm still here is because I received the scholarship to keep coming. Knowing that someone believes in me is really inspiring, so thank you for that. So thank you, Dr. Kambar. Thank you, Dr. Kambar. Thank you, Dr. Kambar. You've helped me to pursue my dreams. They say, he who saves one life saves the world. So I hope that I help one individual. I'll be applying to medical schools this summer and hopefully going on to become a physician. I will have an impact on the world. I will better myself and put my scholarship to good use. I will travel the world and try and make it a better place through architecture. I will be able to afford a home for my parents. I will explore the universe. I will have a job and a career. I will be financially stable and I will graduate on time. What excites me most about the future is not knowing exactly where I'm gonna go, but that's okay with me. I'm, I'm ready for anything right now. When I first took this job, Dr. Kambar was very gracious and accepted a meeting with me. And he said, never forget that each student has the capability of changing the world. He's been an inspiration. He's been generous. He's been a role model. He is what every college president needs, both in good times and bad. Dr. Kambar, I love you.
I'm going to try to leave this a better place than it was when I came to this world. Education is key to life. So I went to Philadelphia University and I spoke to the faculty and spoke to Mr. Spinelli, who I have terrific regard for. And I said, these guys are doing a terrific job and they are of great benefit to the students. They deserve my support. Philadelphia University makes this world a little bit better. <laughs>